What is up guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at my top 5 jailbreak tweaks compatible with the iOS 7. So without any further delay, let us get started. So the first tweak that we have is pertaining to these low animations um, introduced with iOS 7. But as you can see, the animations on my phone are much faster than the stock iOS 7 animations. So the tweak uh, which remedies this problem is called no slow animations. And uh, let's take a look at the stock iOS 7 speed. So as you can see, it's painfully slow. I like it to be at about uh, 0 0.5, plus or minus 0 0.5, and it works like a charm. Now you can also set it closer to 0 and make it unnaturally fast. Uh, as you can see, that's how it looks. But again, I like it at 0 0.5, so I'm going to set it back there. And uh, yeah, that's no slow animations. It allows you to tinker with the speed of animations in iOS 7. All right, now let's talk about the second tweak in the list. Now with iOS 7, we got control center, but we didn't really have a lot of control on control center. It was pretty ironic, but as you can see, now we do. We have a second row of toggles and we also have a second row of apps that we can open straight away. Uh, control center, uh, let me just get rid of that. And the tweak which allows us to do this is called flip control center. So as you can see, we have tons of settings to configure within Flip Control Center. We can arrange the toggles the way we want. And as you can see, it takes effect immediately. We can uh, choose the toggles that we want in Control Center. We can also remove the toggles that we don't want. We can uh, set how many toggles we want per page. And then we also have options to configure the bottom drawer where we have our camera shortcut and things of that nature. So let's add um, Do Not Disturb. And as you can see, it takes effect immediately. So that's Flip Control Center. And one more thing that uh, I want to talk about with Flip Control Center is that you can actually add toggles. You can download toggles which are not available with stock Flip Control Center. And if you want to get Flip Control Center, you're going to actually have to add a source. And it is rpetri.ch slash repo. So that is about Flip Control Center. Now let's talk about the next week that we have in store. And if you notice, my lock screen looks a little bit different than the stock lock screen. I don't have the slide to unlock text, and I don't have the grabbers for notification center and control center. I can still pull them up or pull them down. So the tweak which allows me to customize my lock screen in iOS 7 is called Custom LS. So let's take a look at the settings that we have to configure within Custom LS. So there is Custom LS. Okay, we can hide the camera grabber. And we can also hide the lock screen clock if we wish to, but I think that's a little bit unnecessary. And then we can also have a custom slide to unlock text. So we, you know, we can make it say slide, or we can make it say slide to rock. I don't know, we can just configure it just the way we want it. So that's custom LS. So let's move on to our fourth tweak. Do you notice this? Do you notice when I scroll through pages, I get a very cool transition. And the tweak which allows me to get these transitions is called Barrel. So we have uh, quite a few transitions in here. This is page slide down and we have snake, which is actually mind bogglingly complex. It's pretty cool actually. Uh, so that's snake. And then we also have, let's take a look at page fade, basically fades the icons. So as you can see, we have a bunch of animations available or transitions available within Barrel. So that is Barrel and it allows you to change the page swipe animations and it is compatible with iOS 7. Moving on to the last week, we actually have two tweaks, which allows to do basically the same thing, but in a different fashion. So Switch Spring allows us to uh, kill all the applications in this way. I'm just going to cancel it right now. And Purge allows us to kill applications by tapping and holding on an application in multitasking bar. So we have a bunch of settings to configure for purge. Uh, let's go to the settings. There we go. There's purge. So we can have a kill all alerts. So if we tap on the application, it's going to ask me if I'm going to kill them. Um, and we can turn that off. So let's take a look at how purge works once more. That is how it works. Now let's see how switch spring works. So I'm going to slide on the leftmost card and it's going to pop up with this and I'm going to tap on quit apps and it quits all the applications in background. All right guys, that does about do it for me in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.